bond. So basically all we have to do is mix together the dough ingredients and leave to rest for an hour. So this should have been done ages ago but I couldn't. Take the butter out of the fridge and leave at room temperature with the resting dough. When dough rested, roll it out into a rectangle. Right? So I'm going to just put it somewhere warm and maybe only do it for half an hour because I don't really have the time. So, for this you need 250 plain flour and 250 bread flour. It doesn't have to be wholemeal but that's the only one I have. So I've got bread flour and then I've also got, well I've got self raisins so I don't have any plain. Basically you need two different flours and mine's in the bowl. And you also need 75 grams of butter which I've got here. So I'm just going to pick that up and pop it in. You need... 175 milk, which I'm just going to pour into this bowl. I better have 175, is all I'm saying. So 175, you want. You need one tablespoon of salt. I've got the salt. You need yeast, two, a pack, pack it in a half of yeast, so I'll put two in. I might actually, because I've got loads of yeast, I didn't realise how much yeast I've got, I'm going on a box of yeast as well. I might make, like, I might do some bread. I might do, like, like, make some wholemeal bread and do it in different patterns, like, plait some and then just do them into rolls. I might do a series on basic bread. I don't know if I've ever done that. I've got more time at the moment, so why not? Uh, two tablespoons of caster sugar. <clears throat> I think we need milk for the filling. So I can keep this bowl for the filling. I'll have to put the actual dough in something else. That is two tablespoons of sugar. And then you've got two medium eggs. My eggs are actually medium as well, which helps. If you're doing this by hand, you're going to have to knead it for quite a while. So now I'm going to put my thing down. I'm going to switch it on. I have to add some flour in that because that is extremely wet. So I might add some more. Let me get some more flour added in. It, I don't think I made that milk properly, clearly, didn't I? Just pour flour everywhere. So we're going to get this back down. And we're going to move. need it so maybe I don't have to need it doesn't say anything about needing I would probably have needed that but it doesn't say it just says rest we don't actually need the mixer again so 
that can get washed. So let's get some cling film. It says rest, doesn't say put in the fridge. I think you got to put it somewhere warm. So I'll see you in about an hour. I might come back before to make the um, filling. Today has just gone so quick. Like the fact that it's 10 past four is shocking me a bit. Um, so I can only film in the evenings at the moment. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on with this. Let me eat my recipe that I just cleared up and everything. So, I haven't even prepped dinner. I'm at 10 past 5 and 10 past 4. Uh, so, it says spread the softened butter with your hands as easy as over the surface of the dough. Mix it. So, basically, everything but the butter needs to go in here, I think. Brush with milk, that is good because I can't do an egg wash because I can't do an egg wash because I've got no eggs. I used two eggs today and I can't and I don't have any more. Actually two eggs. Oh no, there's two eggs in the filling. Shh. We're gonna have to just go without egg in the filling. Because I actually don't have any. I shouldn't have had two eggs for breakfast. Well, I'm going to have to adapt one of eggs for my filling. So, spread the butter with your hand that's easiest over the surface of the dough. Mix the remaining filling ingredients, sugar and cinnamon. With your hand is easy, it's over the surface of the dough. Mix the remaining filling ingredients, sugars and cinnamon, together in a bowl and spread even into the dough. Roll the dough on the surface, place them on a tray with some space in between so they expand and leave them to rest in the fridge. I was going to bake them straight away, but we might be able to do that. Take them out of the tray, brush them with. I don't know where the milk is actually going in. Doubt the milk's going in. 175 ml of milk. I don't know if that's for the filling or just for the egg wash. So we need the sugars, so we need. I'm so confused. Oh no, I think it's just the bottom bit. Butter, sugar, sugar, cinnamon. I know, because if you look at my recipe, you've got all of the dough ingredients and then all the dough ingredients again. So. So I reckon it's just the bottom bit. I don't know why they've repeated the dough fillings. They put the dough, they put the dough ingredients then in the bottom they've done dough ingredients and then the filling underneath. So it's confusing because they've done the dough ingredients twice. So we need 60 grams of brown sugar, which might not be in date because it's been covered for God knows how long. 30 grams of white castor. And then literally a tablespoon of cinnamon. And I've got a whole thing of cinnamon. Half we have stuff from 2011 now, I've covered so gum over. Well. So I'm now gonna 
That was a heap. He's going to break up all the sugars. Now we're going to roll out the dough. I've used this one so it's bigger so we can actually spread them out. So we're going to get some lightly sprinkled flour over the base of this. We're gonna get, actually I'm gonna get it back out because I might need to lock them pin. I don't know if it's rest. Right, it hasn't really risen as I would like. I don't think it really changed. But it did only rest for about, I think it rested for about 45 minutes and it was supposed to rest for about an hour. So I am a bit short. It is a very tight mixture as well, but let's... You can tell it's risen because it's shrinking back up, which is a very good sign that it has risen for a bit. I would have liked if the time was generous and I had time I would have left this to rise probably half an hour longer so you want to get it to thin as you like it normally a pound thickness is I am running in approximately 30 minutes. I actually need to grease this and sort this tin out. What I did do, I'm just gonna tiny bit with my finger and I'm just gonna brush on the bottom of my tin around. And now I'm gonna quickly wash my hands. have to do this so they don't stick. It doesn't say you part the paper but nine times out of ten things stick. I use a lot of parchment paper. Oh it's not big enough. Not, I know it's big enough, it's just about it doesn't quite go up the size like a white. So it says, I'm going to roll this out. My whole meal looks slightly healthier. So it says, How much butter do we actually need? So I'm going to get a spoonful. I'm going to put it on here. Just say hands is easiest, but I'm just going to use a back of a spoon. This is basically, this bit is basically so the sugar and all the cinnamon and all that sort of stuff actually sticks. So if there is a gap, if there's a gap without any butter, it might not stick. You might have some that come out. I am aware that last week I only uploaded one video. I have got one that needs editing and I filmed it on Thursday. A beef stew and I've yet to edit it because I just haven't. But I am aware I only did one video last week. So that's why this week I'm doing four to make up for it. I say four, at the moment there's definitely two. So 
for the bit thick on the butter on this side so we're going to rein it in a bit and I'll wear my sugar mixture make sure your sugar and mixture is like try and break up all the bits and I'm just going to put it all on and then spread it out I think and make sure you go to the edges because imagine if you get a bit and there's nothing even in it imagine it would just be a little dough it would be dough 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 so here's the bit so you want to roll it towards you you're going to basically, a bit like a um, swiss roll, you want to do it nice and tight like so and now I need my bread knife which I took out of the dishwasher no I put it in the dishwasher bread knife I put in the dishwasher I can't remember I took it in so basically this isn't a bread knife it's similar but it's not really a bread knife so I'm going to cut the ends off and now to get it even you want to go down the middle so it makes 12 but I'm going to and then you're going to half each side again and, you're gonna ha and then you've now got like fours and now you fall you're going to cut into half you've got one two three you should have eight in total probably should have used the chopping board but they do and then you want to put them in but as you put them in, you want to like flatten them down. And you do ideally want to spread them out, but mine are on the large side. I'm not really sure I'm going to get all of them in. Let alone spread them out. So obviously, if you have the time, get them risen for. get them ridden for longer and now these go in for 15 minutes and that's how I'm really going to get changed and then after that oh, I've got to do some icing on so we can make the icing now shall we do vanilla icing or just plain icing I need to brush them with I need to brush them with milk I just put a bit of milk in there and I don't know where my brush went because I had a brush and it's clearly been put back in the wrong place because, because I can't find the brush anywhere so we're back to this pink one again don't pour it over as such you don't want it drowning in the milk but you do want a little something something now these are going to take I'm going to that 15 minutes in the oven and I'll see you in 15 minutes